Hi, my name is Alan Henry, and I did my nursing theorist presentation on Patricia Benner and her novice to expert theory. Hello, everyone. I'm Patricia Benner. I was born in August of 1942 in Hampton, Virginia. I'm a middle child, two sisters. My family moved to California where my sisters and I completed high school. I became interested in nursing when I was working as an admitting clerk at a local hospital. I married my husband, Richard Benner, in August of 1967 while I was still completing my college education. We had a son who was born in 1973 and a daughter born in 1981. My husband studied situational leadership and we have worked together to develop clinical practice models. We also have traveled together to many hospitals around the world. In 1964, I received my bachelor's in nursing from Pasadena College. In 1970, I completed my master's from the University of California in San Francisco. In 1982, I got my Ph.D. from the University of California in Berkeley. When I completed my doctorate, I became a professor in the Department of Physiological Nursing at the University of California in San Francisco. In the late 1960s, I worked in the nursing field. This included working as a head nurse of the coronary care unit at the Kansas City General Hospital and an intensive care staff nurse at the Stanford University Hospital and Medical Center. From 1970 until 1975, I was a research associate at the University of California at San Francisco School of Nursing. I am a very well-known lecturer on stress and coping, health, ethics, and skill acquisition. I was inducted as an honorary fellow to the Royal College of Nursing. My work has influenced nursing clinical practice and clinical ethics. As I worked in various areas of the hospital, including intensive care, my research included the study of the nursing practice in intensive care units, as well as nursing ethics. I'm the author of nine different books, and my most well-known book is From the Novice to Expert, which was named as American Journal of Nursing's Books of the Year for Nursing Research and Education in 1984. I have been fortunate enough to have won numerous awards and honors throughout my career, Author of the Month by the Nursing Journal. I won the Book of the Year Award in Nursing Education and Research many times, the National League for Nursing Award for Leadership in Education. I was named one of the American Academy of Nurses Living Legends, which is the highest honor bestowed by this organization. My Novice to Expert Theory. It is a practice-based theory and practice-based theories are specific types of nursing practice that can portray an experience or can be specific nursing interventions. My theory looks at different levels of experience in which a nurse moves through during their career. As a nurse moves through these levels of experience, they move from relying on abstract principles to using their past concrete experiences to guide their actions. The Key Components a novice is a beginner with no experience. They are taught general rules to help perform tasks, and the rule governed behavior is limited and inflexible. In other words, they are told what to do and simply follow instruction. The advanced beginner shows acceptable performance and has gained prior experience in actual nursing situations. This helps the nurse recognize recurring meaningful components so that principles based on those experiences begin to formulate in order to guide actions. A competent nurse generally has two or three years' experience of a job in the same field. For example, two or three years in intensive care. The experience may also be similar day-to-day -day situations. These nurses are always more aware of long-term goals, and they gain perspective from planning their own actions, which helps them achieve greater efficiency and organization. A proficient nurse perceives and understands situations as whole parts, he or she has a more holistic understanding of nursing, which improves decision-making. These nurses learn from experiences, what to expect in certain situations, as well as how to modify plans as needed. Expert nurses no longer rely on principles, rules, or guidelines to connect situations and determine actions. They have a deeper background of experience and an intuitive grasp of clinical situations. Their performances are fluid, flexible, and highly proficient. Um, my writing explains that nursing skills through experience are a prerequisite for becoming an expert nurse. These different levels of skills show changes in three aspects of skill performance. 
movement from relying on abstract principles to using past experiences to guide actions, change in the learner's perspective of situations as a whole part rather than separate pieces, and passage from a detached observer to an involved performer, engaged in the situation rather than simply outside of it. The levels reflect movement from reliance on pa past principles to use the past experience and change in the perception of the situation as a complete whole with certain relevant parts. Each step builds on the previous step as principles are refined and expanded by experience and clinical expertise. In regards to the terms of theory, with persons, my theory, the people who are receiving benefit from it are the nurses themselves. I address the different levels in which the nurse will go through on their path of becoming an expert in the field. When the nurse is an expert, they will use that expertise when providing care to all of their patients. With regards to health, I like to focus on the lived experience of being healthy and ill. My definition of health is what can be assessed while well-being is the human experience of health or wholeness. With the nurse, nursing is an enabling condition of connection and concern, which shows a high level of emotional involvement in the nurse-client relationship. I view nursing as the care and study of the lived experience of health, illness, disease, and the relationship among these three elements. With environment, I prefer to use the term situation because it suggests a social environment, social definition and meaning. I believe things to be situated and to have situated meaning, which can be defined by the person's engaged interaction, interpretation and understanding of the situation. Nurse research. Many different people with research articles have used my theory as the basis of the research, but I'm going to talk about one in particular. The study article title, On the Application of Novice to Expert Theory in Nursing, a Systemic Review. Took my theory and reviewed it to see how proficient and successful it, successful it is. The aim of the study was to address the application of my novice to expert theory in nursing career. The study looked at 11 different articles that were relevant to the purpose of the study and were further analyzed. The results were presented in four main categories of nursing education, nursing management, nursing practice, and nursing researches. By reviewing relevant literature, it would become apparent that the theory has been well accepted by many researchers all around the world. My theory has been proven to be a useful and effective tool by various relative bodies, including nursing facilities, hospitals, community organizations, and nursing continuing education programs. The study concluded that my novice to expert theory can be used as a predetermined clinical guideline for conducting all practices associating with nursing career. Daily practice. My theory can be seen every day throughout the nursing profession. Personally, I have used my own theory when I was working as a nurse in the coronary care unit at the Kansas City General Hospital and as an intensive care staff nurse at the Stanford University Hospital and Medical Center. Nursing is a continuously growing field where learning takes place every single day. I would watch new nurses as they came out of school as that novice nurse being timid and unsure of what exactly to expect and not too confident on what to do next. As they continued to work on the unit and practice in the career, they began to grow and develop into proficient, competent nurses. One girl in particular could not get the hang of drawing blood work. She had never had the opportunity to fully develop her skills in drawing blood while in nursing school. I began to see her gain tips and tricks from some of the more experienced staff members on the unit which seemed to be helping her. Soon enough, she gained more confidence and was beginning to be more successful with her blood draws. As it turned out in the end, her expertise began to shine through and she became one of the, became one of the best on our unit with drawing bloods for our patients. Seeing my theory in action and watching these new nurses develop into experts in their field was such a rewarding feeling for me and that has been everything and made it so worthwhile in the end. In conclusion, my novice to expert theory has been used worldwide in the nursing profession. My theory has been proven to be a useful, effective tool for various related bodies, including nursing facilities, hospitals, community organizations, and nursing continuing education programs. Thank you so very much for listening.